Today's horror manga dub and narration is Fashion Model by Jinji Ito. If you enjoy the story at any point in time, please do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Anyways, let's get right into this manga. That morning, I already had a premonition of misfortune. My intuition is very accurate. Almost every time I feel this way, something bad happens. Although I don't know exactly what will happen, still, somehow, today's feeling is especially strong. Hmm, what could it be? Ugh! 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 After having nailed my head against that, a set of girls just laughed at me, but that wasn't it. It's not something insignificant like that. Then, to my embarrassment, while sitting up, I hit my head a second time. I decided to go to a nearby cafe. <sighs> Lighting up a smoke, and just sitting there, pondering. Well, I guess I can't avoid it. Whenever I get a bad feeling like this, I try to avoid the imminent misfortune, but I can never seem to escape my bad luck. Getting hit by a car last time around was already bad enough, but this time, the feeling is even stronger. Even though I ducked into a coffee shop, the feeling just kept getting worse. I grabbed a nearby magazine, browsing through the panels until I came across this fashion model. I stared at that portrait of her. I couldn't believe my eyes what I was seeing. There were so many different pictures of her in the magazine. My god, is she really a fashion model? There's no way a fashion model can look like that. It's a conventional fashion magazine too. Why would they use this model? The other models all look normal. Ugh! This model, she really makes me feel uncomfortable. I threw the magazine to the side and decided to light up another smoke. Later that day into the night, I found myself having a hard time sleeping. I kept seeing those vivid images of that fashion model in my head. It awoke me at once. Ugh. Once I close my eyes, that face appears. Hell. If I'd known, I wouldn't have looked at that magazine. I don't know why, but a few days later, and I still can't forget that model's face. Not just that, but in my memory, that face's features are beginning to contort. I can't take much more of this. Ugh. I covered myself in some blankets. The next day, I drove to work and brought it up with my colleague Oda. I've never seen that model you're talking about. I don't even read ladies' magazines at all, but could there really be a model as terrifying as that? Maybe she just isn't photogenic. But, Oda, in my mind's eye, that woman's face has become monstrous. How about this, Awasaki? Go buy that magazine, and then stare at that model every day. In time, you'll get used to it. Then you won't feel like this anymore. Ugh, how could you suggest that? I don't want to get used to something like that. I'd rather let those memories fade with time. Okay, Awasaki, calm down. On to a different subject. You've been on a leave for quite a while. How's that script coming along? Not a word from you. What? You've really been that thrown off by this model? How can we shoot a film without a script? This is a group work, please don't slack off. If you don't want to write it, I'll get someone else to do it. It's for competition this time. Alright, I heard you. Back at my house, I began to write, but I was still bothered. I couldn't stop thinking about that wretched fashion model. Her dreaded, contorted face just looming over me in my mind. I'm such a moron, aren't I? She's just a model. Why am I so frightened? I'd better take another look at that magazine. Maybe I was just feeling off that day. So, it left a terrifying impression on me. I arrived at a store and scurried through the magazines. What? 
Has it been discontinued? Yes, for half a year already. Oh, I see. So, I didn't see that model again, but I continued to be tormented by that face for a long while after. The good thing is, as time passed, my memory got fainter. Well, you really did write a fantastic script. Nah, Oda, you did a good job filming it. Don't be so humble, Iwasaki. Oh please, we all know that it was my lighting that did it. But I never dreamed we'd win first prize. It really does seem like a dream. It looks like now we're quite well known in the amateur world of film. I have a suggestion. For our next project, let's put out a casting call for a female lead. How about it? Why don't we just get one from the school? No, with our current standard, we can't find suitable beauties in school anymore. But, if we can open it to the public, we certainly can. That day back at the apartment, I woke up with sweat streaming down my body. It's that sense of foreboding again. I arrived at the school where Oda was sorting through some letters. Wow, only three? It looks like we're not that big of a deal after all. Hmm, she looks average. This one's not bad. Sweet, it's decided then. We attract quality, not quantity. What's wrong, Mia K? No, it's just, it's great. It's as if this encounter was fated to be. Hey, Iwasaki, come, join us. You've been all out of sorts these days. Oh. There's one more we almost forgot. And so he opened up the envelope, pulling out the posting inside. Oh god. I could not believe my very eyes. It was her. The one who tormented me for so many months so. Hey, what the hell? Who is she? Uh, guys? Iwasaki, what's the matter? She's the model I was talking about last time. What? Her? Are you sure you haven't got it wrong? I'm positive! Look at that terrifying face! I don't know, I don't think a professional model would apply to amateurs like us. I guarantee you that it's her. Even if she were burnt to a crisp, ashes and all, she'd be just as spine tingling. But what a coincidence that she answered to our ad. Work must be tight lately. Alright, let's do it. We'll use this model and that beauty just now. What? What's that? Stop messing around, Oda. We're not shooting a horror movie. But if we can get a professional model to act for us, it'll raise the standard of the finished product. She might look a little scary, but it's hard to find actresses with such individuality. I'm sure when you meet her in person, she won't be as scary anymore. She's a person as well. Why don't you try talking to her? Oda and I agreed to meet the candidates at the local coffee shop. So, Moritami-san, you're in your first year of high school. You're much cuter in person than in your photograph, though. Oh, please. We'd like you to play the female lead. Just relax and act naturally. Sure. Right. And the other one, why is she so late? Hey, hey, look! And there she stood, tall and thin with that unforgettable, distorted face. She looked at me right into the eye. I, I am Fuchi. Ah, Fuchi, please take a seat. Fuchi-san is a professional model. This is Awasaki. He's a big fan of yours. Hey, Oda! I looked over at her, feeling very nervous and anxious, sweat dripping down my entire being. Even now, she was just staring at me, with those same eyes, dark circles surrounding them. Why the hell did you have to go and say I was her fan? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, though she is pretty horrifying. I didn't think she'd be so tall. It's going to be hard to get her in the shot. Hey, Oda, let's just get someone else to do it. Chill. It's always a little awkward in the first meeting, but I'm sure she'll be great for us. Can you feel her personality and how it overwhelms the lead actress? That's the kind of charisma of a professional model. No way. 
The lead actress and her are far apart, like heaven and hell. What sort of role do you even have in mind for her? Well, how about the sorceress who controls the fate of the lead actress? Unfortunately, it was settled, and we headed out in our van towards our shooting location. And of course, Oda thought it'd be a funny joke to situate her sitting right behind me. Her tall, gargantuan body smack against the roof of the van. Hey, Oda, how far is it to the set? Well, we're almost there. I think I'm going to suffocate soon. We'll be there soon, then you can have all the fresh air you want. We're going deep into the mountains where there's nobody around. All of this for the demands of the script. The, the mountains? We're really going to make a horror film. We all began to chuckle until interrupted by Oda. What are you talking about? We all continued to laugh until we were interrupted by the strange and peculiar laughter of that model. <laughs> she just laughed like a banshee, baring her dreaded, inhuman-like sharp teeth, drool dripping down from top to bottom. Uh, 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 uh. I couldn't take it, but she just kept on laughing. Thank God we finally arrived at the set. I got out as soon as I could and got away from her. I tried to talk to the rest of them. Hey, did you all see that just now? Yeah, is she even human? Eh, what's up? You were sitting in the back, you couldn't see? Her teeth are really sharp. So, it's nice and quiet, right? Yeah. I, I love this kind of place. Alas, we finally began filming. The actors discussing their lines. But I couldn't quite shake this feeling that I was being watched. Like the fashion model was just staring at me. Once again, staring into my very being. Hey, Iwasaki, I think she's got her eye on you. Don't joke like that. Hey. Where are you going? I'm... I'm not feeling well. I'm going to the river to wash my face. I ventured on my own through the woods until I heard a rustling behind me. And my god, I couldn't believe who it was. It was her. That fashion model. She was stalking me. Ugh! Don't tell me she actually likes me. That's not funny at all. I can't stand it. I ran for my life. That monster! How can she be so fast? She continued to rush after me, but I quickly evaded to a nearby bush. That seemed to do the trick as she kept running in that direction, but I kept quiet for a little while until returning back to the camp. Woo! Yo, Awasaki, what the hell were you doing? It's your scene with the lead actress, why are you? What's wrong, Awasaki? Where's that woman? How should I know? Hey, let's pack up and leave before she gets back. Huh? Why? Because I can't work with her. You want us to just leave her here? I do! Come on guys, you've seen her, don't you think the same? Well, I don't like her either. But leaving her on the mountainside, that's just too... Shh! She's here. And there she was, standing right next to us. I really hoped in that moment she hadn't heard us. And Cut! Tome, that was great acting, keep it up. Thank you. But that seemed to agitate her. Hey! Huh? You've been filming that girl this whole time. When are you going to film my scenes? Ah, I'm so sorry about that. Your character really is very important. But why don't you take a break first? The three of us sat together discussing the possibilities. But if we leave her here, and she comes back to take revenge on us, isn't that more terrifying? Why don't we just shoot her scenes and be done with it? Sorry, I'm going to escape while she's gone. Right, we just took a short break. But where did Tamae-chan go? And Miyake? They both vanished. 
Hey, hey, it's bad. What's wrong, Miyake? It's bad. Miyake, speak clearly. What the hell happened? Tame, Tame, she was on the mountainside and then eaten by Fuji. What? Fuji, that fashion model. She tore Tame to pieces and then ate her. What? Don't talk nonsense. But, but it's true. It's because we were only praising Tame, so Fuji got jealous and ate her. Miyake, this isn't funny. It's true, see for yourselves if you don't believe me. I'm, I'm not going there again. Then how will we know where to go? I believe Miyake. I'm not surprised at all that she's a cannibal. Now you're spouting nonsense too. Uh, over there. There is nobody here. <gasps> Look, blood stains. There's blood all around. Then it really did happen. But then, where is she? Then all of a sudden, we looked behind us, and we saw her, blood dripping from her jaw, that sinister smile on her face, as her claw-like hands moved toward us. <laughs> I'm the lead actress! Guys, run for it! <laughs> Don't run! But then she managed to grab Miyake. No! Miyake! But it was too late for him. All I could hear was his screams echoing through the forest. In my attempt to run away like the rest of them, I tripped over a nearby vine, tumbling down towards the ground. Uh, ah. Hey, guys, wait for me. No. I looked over, and I saw her. At last, it's just the two of us. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching, I hope you liked the video, if you did, please don't forget to comment and tell me that you like this format so I know to keep making these type of videos, and don't forget to like and share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and remember, you're important and you matter. Have a great night everyone, goodbye.